Anderson has made up places at the start, but here comes Sebastian Vettel! Hello everyone and welcome to round 11 of season 5 of SDR Racing League Tier 1. 
today we are running custom liveries or player cars around Suzuka or Japan. Uh, all the drivers have made their own custom livery and they'll be racing in it today. All points will count towards their usual constructor. However, Alex, do you want to take us through the track map of Japan? Of course, Japan. We've never done it before, um, which is interesting. It's a pretty tricky track and you get thrown straight into the deep end um, here in Suzuka. But in turn one, right-hander should be just a slight lift off. Then in turn two, break a bit. Um, then Brave into turn three, and this is the tricky bit. The S is um, four, five, six, and seven. Um, probably one of the trickiest parts of the track. Um, then around turn eight into uh, medium at turn nine, flat turn ten, hairpin turn eleven, um, flat turn twelve, um, medium turn thirteen. They have got big curbs in this game, so don't want to be hitting them. Um, into turn fourteen, then flat um, around. 130R at turn 15. Then the final chicane, turn 16 and 17. We've seen some famous clips there of Senna and Prost um, crashing in the McLarens and round turn 18 and across the line. That is a lap of Suzuka, first time um, ever done around here. So it's going to be fun, especially with the um, liveries. Yeah, there are. The constructor standings then, Ferrari leading the charge ahead of Red Bull and Williams has over on over 100 points. Very nice to see from them. We'll have a quick look at the driver's standings. Phoenix from P3 last week is into P1. He's overtaken Lewis Piper and Jamal. Jamal had a fantastic, consistent race around Belgium up to P2 in the standings, knocking Lewis Piper down to P3. As I say, Schreiker boy is still hanging in there. However, last race was the first race in the season where he didn't score any points in FCDR Racing League Season 5. And we will just wait for the last couple of drivers and then we should be able to ready. Yeah, it's definitely hotting up in um, the championship at the moment. Ferrari taking the charge in both championships, really. Phoenix in P1 in the drivers and Jamal close behind and this six points separates them, so yeah, it's going to be close. Um, and Lewis Piper also nine points behind, just dropped back after not racing a few times and the NF last time out. Um, but yeah, Ferrari in the constructors have been brilliant so far. And I think Red Bull's on to watch as well. Still haven't got a win this season. They've got five P2 finishes and three P3 finishes, um, and only one fastest lap. So yeah, Red Bull uh, really needing to get a win. Yeah, just waiting on one reserve, I think. And then we should be good to go. Thank you to everyone that's joined so far. And in the chat, can you rate some of the driver's liveries? We'll be doing a tier list after this round from best to worst of all the liveries of the drivers today. So, we will get ready to go. Yes, I think we're going to be hotting up today. Um, Lewis Piper, Jamal Phoenix all going for it. I've um, got to say, Striker Boy is finishing the top six in every race apart from one. Um, yeah, he's going to be looking to get another one of them in the bank, and that's consistency. He's laid him in P4 in the um, Drivers' Championship. Templos is currently P5 in the Championship with um, that win in his home Grand Prix. just took away from him. He's got three um, races on the podium, and yeah is looking pretty good. Already some poll prediction. Some poll predictions in the chat tops for poll. Who do you think is going to take it? Poll position, I'm going to say... Hmm. Lewis Piper's going to need to get back up there. Um, Phoenix obviously going to want to extend his gap. And Jamal is also one going to get up there as well to, to beat his teammates. So it's going to be tough between them three drivers. Um, like I said, we have got some new drivers tops um, in there. And so, yeah, it's going to be interesting. But I think I f I'm going to say Lewis Piper. I'm going to have to disagree with you. I'm going to go Phoenix. Can't wait Phoenix, to see these yeah. liveries out on track. 
I'll turn the telemetry off on some of them as well, so we can get some nice screenshots. Hello, the boss. Welcome, welcome. Yes, there we go. Down to the Baron. First one out of the pit line. This gets held up. There we go, some nice liveries. Coming out on track. Have the slice. Uh, so I've already disconnected. <laughs> Please. Yep. Right, best of luck to all the drivers. Phoenix loving his livery. 10 plus as well. Looking <laughs> fantastic. See if you can get a nice shot of this one with a close up cam. Yeah, that was a nice one. Lucas Charles, I Both believe, rebels. is running the same. Mm. Yep, there you go. Yeah. Good to see. And who is going to be first to cross the line? It's going to be... Kev the Slice. Let's ride them all with Kev. Yes, Kev the Slice. Um... We were in first ever lap around um, Suzuka and after that and Kevin Slice is going to take us through it with Dams apparent very close behind it's going to be said but rounding out the long turn two now going into the S's as he's doing oh it's yeah as I've already said it's pretty tricky around the S's it's got to be said but we'll go on board with Dams apparent then. Yeah, that's a very clean livery, I've got to say, but it's purple, obviously. Um, first one out is into turn nine, gone slightly wide there. But now going past turn ten, into turn eleven. The hairpin on this track, main one, is on exit, gets on the power. Is flat out towards turn thirteen. See if he gets caught out by any of these tricky curbs, I've got to say. As onto the curb. Um, going into the entry of turn 14 and on exit on the power nicely. Just a nice bank of lap lifts from Dams Apparent. And where's he going to put that new liveried Alfa Romeo? Yeah, as we go into sector 3 then. I think that's Janata close behind as well in his new car. We'll see who comes out of top out of these two. But here we go then. DRS is going to be wide open. He's going to take it across the line. Dams firing a 132.1. Can Janata beat it? Of course he can. A 30.5. That's a great lap time from Janata. Fantastic. In As Altrexfer. As Tempos in P2. Altrexfer in P1. And 29.3. That's a very nice livery from Altrexfer. Oh, it's tough to think who's the who's the best one, to be honest. They're all very nice, I've got to say. Yeah, that's very clean. Um, good job, all guys. Right, I'm this. As we're about on board with the new driver of Torps in the McLaren, who has backed out of his lap. Jamal, let's ride on board. White and red. Looking very nice. Where can he put his Ferrari? Purple middle sector. Looks to get everything he can out of this car to beat his teammate Phoenix, who is on provisional pole 129.222. As Jamal crosses line, it's a 129.055. And he does beat his teammate. Oh, it's hotted up at the front. The Ferraris are gonna be, I've gotta feel there might be a crash here in the race. If they're getting this close in qualifying. 
but Jamal coming in with a smoke. Um, yeah, that's going to be interesting. In the latter stages, but 19 here today as well. Great turnout. It's good to see all the liveries here. Um, I think everyone's actually got a different livery um, out on track today. I don't think there's any basic liveries. So well done to well done to everyone for picking out and designing your own. It's good to see. Um, I've seen a pink striker boy. I mean, some very clean cars out there, so it's good to see. Yeah, a lot of effort has been put in from the Red Bull team we've seen in the Discord. That hard work looks to have paid off. Uh, there's these yellow flags all over Gaffey. I think someone spun in the S's. But yeah, it's a pretty tricky track to get all together, I've got to say. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. So fine. Purple in the middle sector. Coming around the final couple of corners. Where can he put his brand new green and pink livery? There's uh, yes, Seth Martin then. In the Aston Martin with the pink and the green. Puts it in P7 at 30.8. Uh, beats a few of his rival striker boy in that fully pink livery. I've got to say I love that one. That's one of my personal favourites. Uh, puts it in P5. Um... Is there you go. <laughs> Have nice. a quick look at Striker Boy's full pink livery. I love it, mate. Oh, I think that's uh, one of the best. <laughs> Icky Robbo, then. Let's have a look at what he's got on offer. Oh, I like that purple and blue. Good combination. Two of my favourite colours. Bit of red there on the rear wing. Very, very nice. Could be up there, this one, for me. Well, we'll take Ben. We'll take your vote after qualifying. We'll take it after qualifying because it's very tricky, actually. Oh, that is um, very nice. Have you seen that? <laughs> that is quite nice. Icky Robo into P7. Run ball with Lewis Piper. It's going to be very competitive for the top ten positions. Um, but sector one, then I think this is the main place to gain time on each other. Oh, Piper as... spins. As it's kind of flipped on the screen for a second, but um, so it's alright. But hopefully, he gets another lap in. Kevin okay, slides across the line, up into P10. Altrexford on his next flying lap. Can he improve on his last time of a 129.3? I think he's just going to start his next one actually. This is not deploying. NERS and yeah, Alex John takes through this next lap. Let's go for it then. Um, Al checks for, as I said, sector one is the trickiest part of the track, but currently sitting in P3, it's a um, nice lap, only three tenths off pole. Um, can he gain it here? Is this going to be his fastest lap of the day? You never know. I think it will ramp up near the end though, but sector one, the trickiest corners of this track into the S's we go then. Turn four, just pass now into a straight turn five um, and into the other part of the S, turn six, round turn seven, and he's completed the S's. What sector one that, is that going to be? Uh, has he improved in sector one? Um, not quite. He's only um, three hundredth off the pace of his of his last lap. But I'll check for all to gain in the second and third sector then. And can he gain enough to grab the provisional pole? But I'll check for in the new livery with Haas. Backs out. Yes. Backed out. Phoenix. Can it be provisional pole for him? Into the first sector. As I've got to say, they're nice looking like a Versace livery, I've got to say. Um, but going around turn four and turn five, Phoenix, top of the championship at the moment with three wins under his belt. Can he make it um, number four here today? He's been truly phenomenal in the last few weeks, unstoppable in a way. And can he still improve? In sector one, then round sector one, he's slightly down his time, 17,000th um, than his previous time, but that is not a lot. He could have just gained that just round one corner, but rounds out turn 11, then the hairpin. As Phoenix is looking like he's on a clean lap here, going to be tricky to grab that provisional pole as Jamal is looking pretty quick, but two tenths to gain has. 
Phoenix got it in sector two then on exit, bit of a wiggle, but um, nicely caught then, yellow flags on quite a few places on track at the moment, but all eyes on Phoenix is four tenths up at the moment, that's a purple sector two, um, round 130 are then into the final, chicane on this lap and he's going to round out the final corner, turn 18, Phoenix is surely going to be a provisional pole, pure dominance, is it going to be returned to Phoenix? No it isn't. That's a shock. Um, he was about three temps up in sector two. Must have lost time in the final chicane, but that might show he has time to gain. But he's only four hundredth behind his teammate. Yeah, let's see what Altrex can do on what could be his for Oh, big slide there in the dirty air of that car. And I think that's put him off as we were right on board with Icky Robbo. He's two temps up on his previous time. This could put him well within the top seven. Ooh, I think he's backed out as well. There's I've left again. There's, I'm not sure if there's many people on a lot. Jake Squid. That's to invite you quickly before he finishes this lap. Oh, Jake Squid spins into the wall. So he hasn't got any rear wing damage, or that could be his qualifying over. It's a tricky um, corner to get right around turn nine. Um, yeah. I don't blame him for spinning there on the kerb. Um, the walls are very close to the track, so yeah, I don't blame him there. That is tricky. Yeah, Lucas Giles in the Red Bull. His teammate just ahead in P6. Is, he looks to be lining up for his next lap. Big slide. There's uh, Lucas. He's into the pits. Jamal. Can he extend on his time? Yeah, Jamal's looked pretty nice so far. Um, we did see Phoenix does have it in the locker, just lost time around the final chicane. But all eyes on Jamal, then, I guess. Um, see if he can extend his time and just protect it. Maybe get into the 28s, that would be a great lap time for Jamal to maybe come back at his teammate here in Japan. Only six points behind in the championship and necessarily could um, overtake his teammate with a win today. So, will look very good on the prize pool and in the championship for Jamal and we'll see what he could do going into sector two then. Is it going to be a time improvement for Jamal? As no, he's down by quite a margin, I would say, unless he made a mistake around the final two corners, he won't be improving on that lap time. But we'll see if he has, though, as he's coming into the pit lane. As Free Boss is not got a lap in so far in qualifying. Um, we'll see if we can get one in now. Yeah. Uh, round set two, let's see what pace um, he has then. No delta is he on the set of time yet. What can he do on his banker lap? Will he have time to recharge and go for another? Here we go then, DRS wide open across the line, puts him in P8, that's a decent map from three boss just to get her in the top 10. Uh, only three minutes left in the session now. Don't think he'll have time to go in the pits and get a new f um, set on, so might just want to charge up the battery and try again on these tyres. That's pink view for Seth Martin in his Aston Martin. It's a nice halo colour, I'm not going to lie. It's a nice pastel purple. 
Um, but rounding out to turn oh, 11. Oh, that's no. a big spin. Passed on purple, got to. Old Hoss coming into the final sector. One tenth up on his previous time. He's going to need to gain a lot more than that to get into the top ten. Old Hoss in P15. Altrex for is looking to grab pole position from the two Ferraris ahead of him. Phoenix in P2, Jamal in P3. 129.05 is the time to beat. We need to gain three tenths. What's he got in the first sector? It's your Altrex for currently in P3. Um, three tenths behind the Ferrari rivals. Has only raced twice this season, um, but it's currently P10 in the championship. That just shows how fast he really is. Um, but going around sector two, is this a time where he might stick it on provisional pole? He's a tenth up at the moment, and that would do pretty nice. He just needs to gain a slightly more in the final two corners, round 130 yard. Um, he goes, and these are the main corners to go around to gain the time. I'm guessing we've seen a couple of mistakes from Phoenix. Um, early on his laps, but DRS wide open across the line. He's still in P3, not gained too much there. But it might just certify that P3. Let's see what Phoenix can do then on his final qualifying lap round Japan. Four races to go in the season after this one. Yeah, this could be important for him in the championship really to grab pole against his teammate still just needs to be consistent and just try and get a lot of time in he's been doing so phenomenally well recently he's just been so dominant but he's going round out to sector one soon we'll see if he has improved in sector one is going around going around the final corner now is 3,000th down his time um, shows he can still improve then but it's now on the run up to turn 11 um, car in the no. way there so that's going to take it away from him I don't know looks like it were tops so that's ruined his final flying lap James PT I think he's going to improve either as Altrex is in the pits. As James PT there, 29-2, that's a nice lap from James PT. Currently a P3, um, lovely for him, but Jamal at the moment, all eyes on him to grab it. Lewis Piper also, I think, is on a lap too, so eyes on both them drivers. I think they're the real ones to take it away from Jamal. Um, and Phoenix, but Jamal is down on his time and he will not be improving two tenths in, in two corners. But Lewis by plan, is he going to be able to snatch anything? Um, obviously, he's quite some margin up on his previous time. But is it going to be enough to grab provisional pole then, or put it on the front row at least, out of the final corner? Can Lewis Piper keep his title hopes alive across the line? He does. Puts it on pole position. Lewis Piper is back in the business, and my prediction was right. Um, Janata also gets her five place grid penalty um, due to illegal blocking. I'm not sure how. Um, we'll see if that gets investigated after um, the race, but yeah. Yeah, Lewis there Piper we go. is back again. Lewis Piper is back, and he puts it on pole position. Around 11 in Suzuka. Let's see if we can turn that into a win as Pimpular also gets five place group penalty. As yeah, then Lewis Piper, nine points behind Phoenix in the championship, only three behind Jamal and 
This could be an important race for his title hopes. But Lewis Piper, he's on pole again. Well, there we go then. Lewis Piper on pole. Just look how close that top three is. That is mega close. Thank you to everyone that's joined the stream so far. Yeah, so we will look at the bottom of the standings. Lewis Piper ahead of Jamal and ahead of Phoenix. James PT, nice lap from him as always. Generator up there in P6 again. As we await the formation lap, T poses are out. I've said it before you. Because I loaded in yet. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, we've seen some nice liveries from everyone so far. So make sure to follow us on our socials as we will be ranking all 20 liveries we see today from best to worst. And we will also take in your opinions if you put anyone, if you put anyone's in the chat. Uh, so the formation lap is about to get underway. The 11th formation lap. Of the season, and he's golden. And liveried car, I've got to say, it looks pretty yeah. beautiful. I'm not gonna That's lie. Very nice. Always does with gold, though, doesn't it? It looks very racy. Um, that's one that I would have gone for, to be honest. If I would have raced, what it says the best. Way. What livery is your favourite? Oh, it was the purple and the blue one. I can't, it was, yeah, Genator. No, was it Genator? I can't remember what it was. Was it, was it Icky? Icky Robbo, that's it. I love it. Purple's my favourite colour. Just fits so nice with dark blue. So that's my favourite. What about you? What did you say? Bloody mm. Spider. I'm gonna go through him. I'm not. Uh, this is gonna be tricky. I'm gonna pick by the formation. That's my aim. Just cycle for him. That's what I'm doing. Lewis Piper then. Yeah, Kirabo. Getting the last bit of his nice tyres. Let's, in fact, let's look at the tyres that everyone's on. Top six on hard, striker boy on mediums, Lucas Charles on hard, and the rest of the grid on mediums. So the top six and P8 on the hard compound tyres. Let's see if that benefits any of the medium runners from the start. As we get yes. ready for lights out. My favourite. I'm gonna say, hmm, I'm gonna go for a top three because I can't pick. Um, I'll trek the striker boy, and I'll trek hmm, this. very nice in red. And yeah, James PT, I'll trek the striker boy. I can't choose between them, but they've got very nice liveries. I do like them. James PT, striker boy in the pink. James PT in the gold I believe we can't get a good shot of that but last few cars are lining up on the grid and we'll be ready for lights out I think Jamal will lead into turn one but we'll have to see as Pimpula now parked 
It's ready for lights out. As here we go then for the eleventh time this season. As we go again then, five red lights here in Suka for the first time in FZR history and it's lights out and away we go Lewis Piper gets away pretty well from Jamal Phoenix there's a shocking start and Altrex for seems to have jumped and maybe both of the Ferraris but no Altrex for only gets one and is into P3 with Phoenix coming back at him behind and can he get him back going at the end of Yeah, striker boy. Jake Squid, can we just say, fantastic start from him. Up five positions. Altrex for gaining three, running in P2. Lovely start from him. Oh, big wheel there. As Phoenix is close to James PT. Looking to get him on the next straight. It's, it's a dream start for Lewis Piper. Practically already gained the second that he needs to get out of the DRS of Altrex for as there's a big battle here between Seth Martin. As there. There's a huge battle in fact. There's Pimpula. He's looking to get the boss as well. Side by side on the straight. He's going to back out of that, but Pimpula gets the better traction. The ball's already on a three second time penalty. Pimpula gets the move done. As a yeah, great start for Lewis Piper. Altrex for um, MP2 just dropping back from Lewis Piper. Lewis Piper seems to have rapid pace. Phoenix with a shocking start yet again has dropped positions and is down in P4 and with James PT jumping from the start in P3. for the move on Templos. Is Seth Martin. Looks like he's going to make the move on Icky Robbo. He got very close, but looks like he had to back out in the corner as Striker Boy closes in and once again on Templos. It'll be lovely to see with his liveries as the moves are being made. Yeah, striker boy. Um, the third he's at the start of the moment. Running in P6 in that pink livered Aston Martin. Now we go some in the slipstream of Jake Squid. Is he going to make the move into the chicane? I think he's just too far back. And yeah, has to stay behind. But Jake goes a little bit deep. Well, that compromises exit on the main straight. Is Nova Gibson overtaken Able? Is he going to go for it into turn one? Jake Squid just seems to have the better straight line speed. As yeah, these points will be crucial for Jake Squid. Um, as I think three races without any points in a row, so he needs to really get back on track. Oh, there's a spinner there. That striker boy had a fantastic start. But he's dropped all the way down to P16. Is that Stamps Pine as well? People struggling. Nicky Robbo in his beautiful livery. Has Seth Martin close in behind. No real changes then in the past couple laps for the top five. Lewis Piper just extending his lead. The gap is now over 1.6 seconds. Dream start, as I say, for him. As yeah, Phoenix is going to want to get back on track. Um, same with Jamal, dropping 12 from the start. But he 
Yeah, Luis Pipo is looking side good. Side by side. Moment. Phoenix goes for it on James PT. James PT fights back, but Phoenix gets the move done into turn one. Nice stuff from Phoenix. As you say, he wants to get back on track, and he's done that nicely. Seth Martin looking to get some more points on the board. He's been um, recently just getting a few, a couple. It's better than nothing. But um, back here again then. In the points, don't want to bother this one. Jamal gets through, but I think there was contact between him and Jake Squid. Seth Martin still within that two tenth. Oh, Vicky Robbo. I think you'd sort some out in the Discord. Phoenix absolutely flying then, 132.7. You saw that with Scott Police. As Old Horse gets past Kev the Slice into turn one. That's Damn Spire and Striker Boy going side by side through the first sector. Phoenix has found his pace and is closing in to the back of Altrex for in the Haas. A lot of cinematic shots in this race showcasing the beautiful images that have been made from all the drivers. Oh, James PT mm. has had a spin and is down into P9. Yeah, James P2, that's not what you want to be doing if you want to get a podium here. Um, consistency is key, as he must have disconnected. Phoenix looks for the move on Altrex for gets it done before turn one, before the breaking point. Phoenix is flying. There's that move right there, could be crucial for the championship if he just needs to get his head down now. Try and catch and reduce the deficit to Lewis Piper. And yeah, you never know. This could be a win for Phoenix. Um, a good comeback drive um, from the start he got and from where he started and from the blocking in qualifying. But we'll see how he gets on. Um, here on out, 21 laps to go now here in Zuka. And it's looking good for this pipe, but Phoenix seems to have the pace. Yeah, Seth Martin, consistent, still in. The two tenth range of Iki Robbo. Don't want to jinx it. Oh, as he breaks late, he's gone for the move on Iki Robbo into the corner. Iki gets better traction though. He stays ahead. I think he's gonna want to. I think he's gonna want to stay behind until um, the one up to 130R turn 15. Uh, so I think that's gonna be the main overtaking zone. Oh, into turn one, of course. But. We'll see how this one, see if we can get it done here then. No DRS of course, it's going to have to be on track, but it doesn't seem to be close enough, it's closing. Um, but, yeah, it won't be enough, it seems. Going into the final chicane, maybe the one up to turn one then. Oh, he's just gone very yeah. wide, and that's shattered his chances of getting the move. And Seth Martin is now out of the DRS range of Icky Robbo. He's got to say, Nova Gibson, great drive so far. Keeping up with the two Red Bulls, Lucas Giles in P5 and Templos in P4. 
There's a spin and it's Seth Martin. We saw it in the last corner of Spa last week and we've seen it on lap 7 here today. Seth Martin down in P12, back where he started the race. As you know, Seth Martin's going to want to get his head down now if he wants to get any points in this race. But yeah, it's another inconsistent moment. Don't want to be having any more of those today, but Nova Gibson is looking quick on the back of Lucas Charles. As yeah, then catching up. Um, on the exit, 14 is going to want to gain within a few tenths by the final chicane. Now going past 130R, gap now under 3 tenths. And can never get this done into turn 1 with the DRS then. With I this, think. He'll have the DRS yeah. though of 10 plus. That's going to protect him. And it's going to be another lap behind him. He's never just going to want to wait until he makes a mistake because he won't be getting past on the straights. Jamal, he is going to look for a move though on Altos. Going into the first corner. Old Hoss lets him go. Jamal, we know his pace that he can have. He had a pretty poor start. But he's now up into P8 as Seth Martin got past Kevin the Slice. Into the same corner. It's Kevin a little more off into the grass there. But Lucas Giles defending from Nova Gibson. Nova Gibson's pushing him to make the move on Templos. As Jake Squid sets the fastest lap. We'll look at the tyres for all the drivers. Phoenix has broke the DRS then of Altrexler in the Haas and is now within two seconds of Lewis Piper. He's going to want to get it to under one second as soon as he possibly can. It's Lucas Charles and I think it's just tactically staying in. Um, well, Temple's is just keeping him within DRS at the moment. Maybe it's just a little team thing, but um, it's just keeping him ahead of Nova Gibson in the Alfa Romeo. There we go, I said. We know what pace Jamal can have, and he sets fastest lap on the hard compound tyres. Yeah, it's a catch up job. So, Tops. Jamal. He's out of the session. So, that's not a safety car. Oh, contact between the two Red Bulls. 10 plus into the gravel. Lucas Charles, I think he's got damage. And no. Duris is going to be fuming right now. I am sure. Here in Suzuka, the Red Bulls have both crashed together. Luckily, they're not out of the race. But 10 plus is down in P9 and has damaged that car. And oh, I wonder if there was a fall there. I didn't exactly see um, in a clear manner. But that puts Lucas Charles under immense pressure as he just lets um, Jamal past. And Jamal is now up to P6. Yeah, Lucas Charles has damage on his front left end plate of his front wing. Old Hoss will be looking to take advantage of that. He's going to hope that Lucas Charles lets him through like he did to Jamal. But 10 plus. He's also got damage to his front left end plate. As James VT ghosted after disconnecting. Almost catching him as Lucas Charles is into the bits. It's going to have to be a double stack, but I think there's going to be enough of a gap. Oh, this could be close for a front wing change. But 10 plus and Lucas Charles are both have to come in. Let's see if he gets all held up. It won't be a double stack, of course, with the player cards, so that's um, a real positive, but. Yeah, he's going to get back on track, and they're both going to be down and way out of the points.
This is Jamal. Now he's showcasing his pace as he gets past Sticky Robbo. I think we caught that crash pretty decently on stream as well, so should be able to have a replay of that after the race. Is the grid it seemed to spread out as Seth Martin spun again. That promotes Striker Boy into P9 and Damps apparent pounces on it as well and gets into the points positions. Seth Martin once again consistency laying him down. Such a nice guy. Top man. Dicky Robbo dives into the pit lane. Uh, he's gone to the hard send. Pit strategy must be open. I um, wonder where he comes out and maybe in traffic. We'll see. Come out behind the purple car of Genator. Yeah, nice little gap for him there. Clean air. As Seth Martin also into the pits for his one and only stop. As James BT ghosted, but still closing on the back of Striker Boy. It's the same loss. After making his pit stop, gets past Seth Martin pretty easily. <laughs> So Templos can come back into the points. Yeah, he needs to just finish a few points ahead of Strike by and that'll promote him into P4 in the standings, but he's gonna need to really get a move on. Certainly is Lewis Piper. Been quite a calm race for him so far. It's now dodged the gap back to over two seconds. focus on this master class as nothing is happening old horse he comes into the pits yeah old horse currently in p7 in the standings doing a pretty good job and um, this season points in every race apart from one um, that he has attended but yeah old horse has been fantastic this season yeah old horse where's he going to come out then is he going to get in front of Vicky Robbo? Or is Vicky Robbo going to get him on the warmed up tyres? Lucas Charles sets the fastest lap after boxing with his damage. What's happened there? Did he spin on the straight? Was that team orders to let Jake pass? I am really not sure why he slowed down on the straights. He has been having nice. issues with his pedals. Said so this will be fixed for next round, I believe. Old Hoss. I want to get past Dicky Robbo. But let's focus on Jamal in P5, the Ferrari driver. This move here could be crucial for a championship, but um, Nova bothers. Nova is into the pit lane, so that promotes him into P4. And the overcut is on then on the hards, and it will be around to the mediums, which will be the faster compound in the second stint. So, yeah, sure, they'll be getting Nova. And that'll put him in P4, but it's just whether any mistakes will be made, or maybe a safety car that'll um, bring him close to the top three. But long way to go for Jamal then. Yeah, there's no but comes out of the pit lane. Into P6, pretty strong race from him so far. Yeah, it's Lucas Charles and Striker Boy going out in turn one and Lucas Charles his troubles continue as he spins off the road. 
Lucas Charles struggling with contact with his teammate and then spins into turn one. It's ten plus. Back into the points positions. Is he gonna make the move on striker boy? Seth Martin is closing on Janata. As yeah, Seth Martin head down them. He's gonna get some points in this race. Um, but still a long way to go then. And a few pit stops still need to be made from the front runners on the hards. But yeah, 10 plus. Um, battle for the championship really if he gets past. Um, three times he's coming over back the gap to track a boy. But yeah, one extra point that'll put him above him in the championship and into P4. Yeah, go round 130. Yeah, the gap is nearly under a tenth. And is it going to be into the final chicane? Um, not quite this time around. But on the straight, he will have DRS. Uh, three tenths, he's lost it on the exit. But he's using the battery and he's got the DRS at wide open. And going into turn one, can he go round the outside or strike away? Uh, yes, he can. That's putting him up into P9. Two points will be taken from this race, and that'll put him. Um, in P4 in the standings if it stays like this but well, nice move from 10 plus yeah nice work from 10 plus will follow back to the battle between Genator and Seth Martin there's Genator has been doing fantastically um, reserving for Mercedes um, I think that was last when he um, came and reserved for Mercedes but now with P9 and Genata getting 24 points out of the 40 Mercedes have got this season so yeah he's done a fantastic job yeah Phoenix is he going to get ahead of Altrex for Altrex for coming along the main straight Phoenix has done the overcut it's worked nicely I struggle on these um, gold tyres though, but I um, think it will be enough. Yeah, no, we give some uh, up into B5 then. Absolutely brilliant race for him so far. There's Seth Martin once again, close to the back of Janata. Janata with fresher tyres. But Seth Martin in the DRS. Is he going to sit behind or is he going to go for it? Obviously sit behind. Smart move. There's Altrex for... He's gaining on Phoenix. Looking for that final podium position. Uh, so Jake Squid just so I'm going to fast slap the race, but yeah, he's still running a measurable race in P15. Um, not doing great in the championship. As I said, no points in three races. Um, but yeah, he's got one win early in the season and that just seems to keep him in the top ten of the championship at the moment. But um, still a long way to go for Jake Squid. Yeah, front two are now in. Lewis Piper looks absolutely clear. Out in P1, Altrex for sets the fastest lap as he hunts down Phoenix. Him out comes out in P4. And slightly deeper Altrex for going um, around turn two, but got away with it. There's Phoenix. Um, gap has been opened it seems. So Lewis Piper now 3.3 seconds. See if he can gain anything on his outlap. Lewis Piper's of course. Seth Martin finally makes the move on Janata into turn one. It's been coming and Seth Martin up into P11. One more and is in the points. Is it 
do, although it's going to be a free position. Gain for him as James PT is still ghosted. His car yet to pit, the only one yet to make a pit stop. As we'll look at the positions gained, Nova Gibson up five from P10. Phoenix sets fastest lap of the race as they go. If your Robo gets past the ghost of the car of James PT, but Janata is sat behind Seth Martin and he's looking for him to pull him along in the DRS. And can I get past, back past Seth Martin? Seems to have more straight line speed, but um, it's all about the exit out of the farm chicane around 130R and gap around 5 tenths. We'll see what I can do out of the chicane then. Seth Martin take a slightly deeper line, but yeah, Jeanette does get a better exit though. Okay, it won't be this time though, 5 tenths, that's too big of a gap. Yeah, old horse saw him while we were focusing on the battle between. Seth Martin and Janata, Old Horse got past James BT and he's now closing in to the back of Icky Robbo. Half a second is the gap. Yeah, old Hoss, I don't think we're getting past this lap. Losing time in sector two, we'll see what we can do. Going into sector three. But yeah. Just losing a bit of time there in sector two. But it has a straight line speed to catch up a few times on the straight. I'll see what I can do on the exit of the chicane then. Yeah, DRS. I don't think he's going to be able to catch him though on this lap. We'll come back to it as we go to Genator and Seth Martin. Can Genator get past him on the main straight? It's going to be hard to overtake this far back, but we know Genator's straight line speed doesn't seem to have it on this occasion. As we'll go back. To P1, Lewis Piper looking absolutely electric up there in first position. Phoenix in P2, just driving a comfortable race as he fought off Al Trexford, who has dropped back a bit from the back of him. And Jamal, 10 seconds behind the podium positions, is going to hope for a safety car to get back up there on the three steps. Give some tidy race from him, up five positions, and Nicky Robbo up nine positions. Great work from him. There's Old Hoss still in the DRS, but he's actually dropped back this lap. A couple of times. There's Janator, three and a half times, separates him and Seth Martin. Has uh, got to say, been doing fantastically well recently in the constructors up in P4 and looking to close the gap to Williams maybe. But good result today, it seems P3 and um, P6 as it stands. But on the straights, then Gen 8 to 4 tenths, still don't think it's going to be close enough. Um, not using any overtake. And yeah, staying behind another lap then for Gen 8. To. Needs to try and close up as much as he can in Sector 3 mainly. And going on to the next lap, but yeah, Janet stays behind for another lap. Yeah, these two, as much as the fight, and they need to work together to pull themselves close to Striker Boy in the final points position. Because this fighting won't be worth it at the end of the day, because there's no points position for P11 and P12. Here's Lucas Giles. Closes into the back of Kevin Slice as Phoenix gets a three second time penalty. 
I think that rules out any chance of a race victory. He's just got to stay ahead of Altrex for now in P3 to secure that P2 spot. It's a bit of a shock to me. I don't think I've seen him get a 3 cent time penalty all season, but I could be wrong. But yeah, Phoenix is going to just want to keep the position then and gain on Altrex for... It's Dams of Power and he's retired from the race. I think that's in the pit lane. Giles not opting to use the overtake but still in the slipstream is gaining so much and he does use the overtake now going to the final chicane looks for the move on cover slice cover slice closes the door but with DRS overtake enabled Lucas Giles has to breeze past cover slice on the straight into turn one Lucas Charles gets the move done. Kevin Slice tries to win it back, but Lucas Charles is too strong. Yeah, nice move from Lucas Charles. Um, still big loser today. Um, with that collision with his teammate, could have really got some good points today. Yeah, Seth Mine. Looking strong after his couple spins. That really offset him in the whole terms of the race. But once again we see him maintaining that gap to the back of another car. As I say that has a moment on the exit. It's going around turn 14 now. Um, Seth Martin needs to get that position back but he's lost quite some margin in set two. Gained it back on the straight, so using his um, ERS. Oh, there we go. Seth Martin gets past Gen 8 as Templos also gets past the ghost of cart of James BT. But Old Hoss is now within half a second of Icky Robbo. Yeah, old Hoss um, been having a great season. Oh, Lucas Charles off again. No, it's not good for the Red Bull driver. As Jake Squid gets him as well. Oh, big moment there for Jake. He struggles on the curbs. But Lucas Charles just goes from bad to worse. So I think he's won again. Five laps to go, Old Hoss still knocking on the door. Icky Robbo making sure um, if he makes a mistake, he can just swoop past. But yeah, it's also a big five laps for Altrex to see if he can gain um, that seven tenths to Phoenix to get P2. That'd be a great result. Yeah, Old Hoss, I think he's lacking in straight line speed, even with the DRS. Nicky Robbo is maintaining that gap. I think that's Jake Squid in the Alpha Tower. It is once again Lewis Piper. He's nearly pulled five seconds out of Phoenix in his black and gold livery. Looking spectacular out in first place. So consistent. He's enabled the part of its telemetry. Telemetry, sorry. For the final few laps, and we're riding board. With Lewis Piper. Uh, striker wise, about to get the go to cart is James PT. Um, but yeah, Templos taking um, Striker wise in the championship. That'll be a nice result. P4.
There we go, strike a right. Past James PT. Uh, Seth Martin Knight needs to push on to try and get a final points position as well. Um, I think it should be enough to get him. The ghosted car near the end. Again, two cents through that corner. His old horse is now must be out of the DRS from Icky Robbo. That could play a crucial factor. In the end result, Icky Robbo is going to want to maintain that P6. So this pipe has blown everyone away. 130.892. Absolutely cruising out front. Still pumping in the fastest laps though. Which is what he does. Six point six the gap will be about nine point six of the three second time penalty period. While Chexford gained about half a tenth, four to a tenth last lap. Um, just now lost it, I'm not sure. About. I think it was out of the final corner going to the first one, even. Yeah, Al Chexford looking to get in that three second window. He'll be losing on the straights with no ERS though. Push to the limit. Very nice, beautiful red colour on his Haskar. <laughs> this is gained a tenth on Phoenix in the first sector. He's going to need to gain four more in the final few laps. Oh no! Oh! Keeps it nicely That's... though. That'll be beautiful to be fair. But. It's ultimate, then it's a spin, and Altrex for his now seven and a half seconds. He kept it going though, he held it nicely after he did spin round, but Altrex for that's knocked any chance of P2 out of the window. He was pushing to the absolute limit there, you could tell by the way he spun, but yeah, that's um, unlucky for Altrex, so he keeps it under control, and yeah, no real threat from Jamal behind still, 2.6. Is the gap? He yeah, can't be doing that again, though. But old horse yet again knocking on the door on Icky Robbo. Five tenths of the gap going into final three corners. Is now round now turn 18. Yeah, it won't be close enough. Yeah, a bit of a slide there on the exit as well. And one of the lap cars gets past him. Ten plus in P8. Not a lot he had to do after his collision with his teammate. Gets a few points on the board. Let's keep it nice and steady now. I don't think he can gain any more. So I think he'll just be on cruise. Not pushing too hard. Doesn't want to spin the car and lose the points that he has managed to get back. But Striker Boy will be chasing him down in the pink. Looking like racing point. Gotta say, the racing point livery it was unbelievable. Pink Mercedes then. Um, but Strike Roy well, yeah, in P9. Um, spun earlier in the race, but off away from there. Still gonna get some points on the board though. Here we go, Seth yes. Martin. He's gonna claim the point. From James BT. Lovely stuff. Seth Mine. As Templos, as he made a mistake, the striker boy gets past him. That looks good. Right? At the start of the corner, so must have had a big snap. As he goes a little bit wide there. Is that right there? Could be crucial for his championship position. But yes, yeah, really another two points. He's in the pits. As Seth Martin, now Janator's up into the points. Can he make it two? 
into turn one. Janaya gets the move done on Seth Martin. Old Hoss closing and closing on Iki Robo. Can he get it done on the final lap? Or is he going to get it done this lap? There's Old Hoss then. He's four tenths behind now. Going to be have to be a little, a little closer. Going into 130R. But... He's gaining again, saved up a bit of battery to attack, I'm guessing. Um, is he going to deploy on this straight? Yes he is, so he must be. Trying to get that position as much as he can, push, push, push. For Old Hoss to get these extra few points in the bag. But it's getting very close, going to the final chicane. Can he get a good enough exit on the straight yeah, to try and cause it. a challenge? Uh, it's not quite. Seth Martin is still very close to the back of um, Genator. Seth Martin, is he going to get him? Going on to the final lap, is he going to claim ninth back? We saw Genator do it last lap. Can Seth Martin get him back on this one? I think he's just too close, uh, too far behind, sorry. And yet, Seth Martin will probably have to settle for 10th place. As Lewis Piper is going into the final sets, he's actually on his personal best. He's just showing off now. Yeah, going past 130 Allen. Four wins this season and he's about to make it five. He's came back with a bang and um, gonna he's going to overtake Jamal in the championship. But in round 11, Lewis Piper is back on top again and wins with Phoenix um, after his massive charge with um, three wins in a row. Doesn't get another one here to extend it, and he's got P2. Altrex for nearly getting outdone by Jamal, especially that spin earlier. Grabs the final um, podium place. Then Jamal with a great comeback drive um, in P4, nearly getting Altrex for. Old Hoss has um, got past Nicky Robbo on the final lap. Into the final sector, no. Nicky Robbo. Is he going to go for it back on Old Hoss? Side by side, coming through the final chicane. Bit of a slide from them both, and Old Hoss claims P6 from Nicky Robbo. What a battle across the line. Old Hoss, he saved it right to the very corner, right to the very sector to get that move done. Nice side-by-side -side racing. Striker, he's going to outdo um, Templos again today and he's going to keep P4 in the championship. And um, Janata, another great reserve drive in P9. Steph Martin gets some more points on the board in P10. And yeah, lovely race all together. But unlucky for both of the Red Bulls, Tempos and Lucas Charles, not getting any points to get it today after the collision, but um, unlucky as Tempos gets a fast stop as well. Yeah, nice extra point. Oh no, he's not in the point, he's not in the point, he's not in the point position, so Tempos just takes that point off whoever got it in the top 10. Helping his championship battles. There's Kevin Slice. Slowly spins his way across the line. Reverse, just to show off his livery. As there we go then. Lewis Piper is your winner here today at the Suzuka. Custom liveries. And there we have it then. Lewis Piper, followed by Phoenix, followed by Altrex. Yeah, great drive as well from Nova Gibson. Got to say, up in P5, brilliant stuff. As I think we've got some interviews waiting. As yeah, there is your final standings. Make sure. Uh, as driver of the day, as I forgot to last time, but driver of the day today has got to go to Nova Gibson. P10 to P5 has been a great performance, I've got to say. Um, yet again, his second half of his championship has been doing great for Alfa Romeo and just getting a lovely 10 points on the board. 
Oh yeah, great race. Yeah, as I was going to say, make sure you're following us on Instagram, Twitter and all our socials as on YouTube we'll be posting the highlights from this race in a couple of days' time. So make sure you follow us on that and on Twitter and Instagram we'll be posting the tier list for all the liveries here today. So we'll be right back as we've got some interviews waiting. Are you ready? Yeah. As we'll bring in the first interview of Phoenix in P2 and his team principal. Now Phoenix, obviously it's not the race win today, but um, P2 and another strong result. And I think that keeps you at the top of the championship, which gives you your thoughts on the race. I mean, when do I not have a hectic start? I had a bad one and I had two or three cars down the inside, which I was trying not to get involved with. So I stuck to the outside of turn one. And then uh, Jamal sp spins right in front of me. like, oh, now I've got to try and cut back inside. I thought it was all over at that point. But um, yeah, I had the pace today, but just a poor start. And the um, poorly impediment just meant that uh, yeah, I could have got the win today. Yeah, it's unlucky, but I'm um, still top of the championship and you've got your teammate. Um, but your um, team principal. Um, I'm pretty sure you'll still be a bit pleased, especially with the comeback that Jamal had, Jamal had at the end of the race, which gives your thoughts as well on the race. Is that for the... Uh... Yeah, sorry, mate. Uh, congratulations to Liz, of course, for winning. Amazing race by him. I have to say that I'm uh, fully proud of Phoenix and Jamal. Uh, especially Jamal for gaining up uh, 12 places after spinning on turn 1 and Phoenix for maintaining uh, P2. Uh, we both know that it wasn't our best race, not our best qualifying, but you know, as a Ferrari we push through. We contend every day for the constructors and drivers and uh, our heads will be up. Yeah, good to say, um, but going into next um, week in Austin, Texas, USA, um, just give us your thoughts on that track, Phoenix. Yeah, I think both Jamal and uh, Phoenix love the track. I'm awaiting at least a P1 and 2. I know what they're both capable of. And I think uh, until uh, next time, we'll have some more uh, problems, I would say, solved. So my thoughts on the track is, uh, I, yeah, another fun track. Um, should be plenty of overtaking going on. And um, with back to two DRS zones, I am... I imagine we'll get drivers sticking uh, a bit closer to each other. Yeah, good to hear. But um, yeah, another P2 for you and um, good season overall. Still top of the championship. But yeah, thank you very much for joining us today. Good competition and I'll, I'll add your livery, I've got to say. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Cheers for that, mate. Cheers. Cheers, mate. As we will bring in... Who do you want? Take your pick. Let's bring in... Hmm. Let's bring in Janator. Janator from Mercedes. Janator, I mean, P9, two points on the board. Um, started P11, but just give us your thoughts on that race. More points on the board for Mercedes. Ah, uh, man, I'm so disappointed. I was spun lap one. I mean, first of all, I qualified P6, but then my AI got myself a five sec um a five place screw penalty. So I'm starting down P11, um, and, uh, and so you know it could have been a top five, possibly. And I don't think without um my uh screw penalty, I probably wouldn't have been spun. Um. So yeah, I was on the apex, um, but I was just squeezed out, and yeah, that was pretty much it. Then I spun again um, uh, in the next corner, because my rears were absolutely on fire. Um, and yeah, it was just, I mean, from there, people were making mistakes around me, um, and I was slowly gaining back positions. Um, and yeah, I had a really good battle with Seth, um, that was really fun, as always. Um, and yeah, I mean, it, at, at the end of the day, it's points. Um, I was able to recover from last to P9. So, you know, it's 
it could have been a lot more, but um, yeah, it, it's it's all right. Um, just hopefully I can move on to the next race and maybe get a better result there. And yeah, um, just hopefully um, my bad luck one can um, end soon. Yes, yeah, just remember, you still got points on the board today with that unlucky five place grid penalty. But um, yeah, I mean, going on to next week, um, you've got tier two coming up on Friday in Austria. Just gives you thoughts on that, first of all. Yeah, I mean, Austria is a really fun track, in my opinion, especially sector two and three. Um, yeah, I just love it a lot. Um, probably one of my best tracks. Um, so hopefully um, I can get at least a um, P2. I mean, a win is definitely on the cards um, next round, but yeah. Um, hopefully I can just catch back up to Shao. Yeah, I mean, um, I think you're still top of the championship in tier two as well. So, um, yeah, going on to um, Friday for you then. But yeah, more points on Mercedes. And yeah, thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, it's always a pleasure, and yeah, good luck on Friday, and if you can join us next week as well. Yeah, all right, thanks. Thank you. Then we'll bring in Jake Squid and Duras. Duras is the Red Bull CEO. I mean, Jake... Oh, sorry. Oh, we've got Nova. <laughs> we'll do Nova, we'll do Nova we'll real do quick. Nova. Um, I mean, Nova, I mean, driver of the day today, um, fantastic finishing... Um, position in P5 from P10, but just give us your thoughts on that race. Phenomenal. Um, to be honest, I, I'm not the I'm not the greatest around Japan. I I don't like the circuit at all. But the one thing with the track is the curb through the S's and most places the curbs aren't very friendly. So I knew as long as I drove a consistent race and didn't spin, it would get me somewhere, and it got me to P5. So I was happy with it. Yeah, definitely. Um, that Bouchard. Um, championship position, but yeah, it's another fantastic race from you. Um, can you replicate more of the same going into um, USA Austin next week? Uh, I hope so. I've got well, I've got last week I got P5, this week I got P5, so hopefully, maybe another P5 or hopefully even higher. We'll find out. Yeah, definitely you've boosted um, Alfa Romeo yet again with more points. Um, I think you're on um, in the hundreds now for Alfa Romeo, so yeah. Fantastic from you, driver of the day today. Um, but yeah, um, thank you very much, Charles. I need a quick one, but um, yeah, thank you very much for joining us today. And thank you. Yeah, well done. Fantastic position. Thank you. Right, we'll now bring in Jake Squid and Duras, if we can do it right. I mean, Jake, it wasn't really the race you wanted today, but um, just give us your thoughts on that race. Well,. On lap one, P13 to P8, that was fairly clean. Um, lap three, there was I'd spun out, but then on the next lap, uh, there was two cars fighting. They get ahead of me, and then going into the corner, the uh, they touch each other, and one of the cars like, do you know when it gets tapped, it like sort of spins out a little bit, and he's trying to relevel it. And that's happening as I'm turning the corner, and my uh, reaction times were pretty slow on that. I, try, I put on the brakes, I tried to do anything to stop that. I hit into the back of the guy, lose my rear end play, and then out of nowhere, Jamal just whacks up, punts me in the back, going through the next corner. So then, yeah, that put me down out of the points. After that, was just trying to hit and... Um, yeah, do what we could do on a two stop, which ended up being three or four stops because the game didn't change the win. But yeah, yeah, I'm lucky. But um, Duras, I mean, you must not be very happy at all with what happened with your two drivers. So I'm just give us your thoughts on the race. No, I'm not happy at all. Um, neither the Alpha Tauris uh, nor the Red Bulls had a good race. Um, don't forget about Old Hoss. Old Hoss has a good he race. He did finish P6. I mean, yeah, yeah Old Hoss is, is... It's just unbelievable how he always gets uh, a very good race at the end of the day. I mean, uh, he I started think... P14, I think, and yeah. ended up P6. Um, yeah. It's unbelievable. Um, 
Then uh, Jake, I was uh, actually with Jake the whole race. Um, at the beginning, it was looking really good for, for him. Um, then he had uh, quite a moment uh, in, the, in the starting laps. And yeah, then we were just thinking about uh, trying to get the fastest lap um, and uh, snitch a point off of Ferrari. At the end, um, Pemplus done it in the last lap, uh, and I was, let's say I was happy at least we got um, a point from Ferrari. Yeah, um, but Jake, hopefully going on to next week, um, your luck does improve, but just give us your thoughts on um, Texas, USA. On USA, I'm going to have to... Hopefully, I can start getting practice in for these tracks more. Really busy, but yeah, I'm gonna see what I can do. I don't think we're gonna be looking for a win. Maybe a podium, depends on how the race goes. And uh, yeah, one other thing I'd like to mention in qualifying, uh, two drivers, like four drivers technically, but like two sets of two, but the exact same time. And then uh, me, Seth Martin, we got the same time. But old horse Ragbom was one thousand fourth of us, so qualifying was very, very close. Yeah, yeah, it definitely was, even at the front as well. Um, but yeah, all over the place, and um, Japan it was very interesting to watch. Um, good liveries as well today from all of you um, in the Red yeah. Bull fan base. It's good to see. Um, Duras, hopefully, again, um, Red Bull can boost himself going into next week as well. But yeah, thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, it's been a pleasure as always. And yeah, we'll see you next week. Yeah, see you. Yeah. See you. And we will finally bring in Seth Martin. Seth. Seth Martin. Thank you for the mate, message as well. Mate, the one point merchant strikes again, you know what I mean? Like... <laughs> yeah, first and foremost, thank you very much for the bits, of course. Um, but, yeah, good battle with Janator there. It was going on for quite some time. You know, you got a part in the Bob, but just give us your thoughts and feelings about the race. Yeah, so, Edith, yeah, pretty box standard it was, it was pretty bad qualifying i just didn't i had a lap i had a good lap at the end there but i just kind of messed up on the last corner and i was like i should look we'll just see what we can do start like 13th or 12th or something one of those positions and then got up to like pa and i was like oh yeah happy out you know bobbing along like and then you know sure look spin spin master strikes again you know what i mean like and uh, i nearly been done for a while and i was like oh jesus the curse is back it's only been two races you know what i mean like but uh managed to get it back up and then kind of stayed around the like p11 p10 area yeah. and i had that had that really good battle with Janeiro that lasted like it must have been like 10 laps or something we overtaken each other and it was just good and it's also a good indicator of because since we're going to be teammates next season it's good that we can fight each other without um like contact but yeah you know p10 and obviously striker boy got p8 so you know, still both both double points and can't really complain, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, um, hopefully next week um, you can boost yourself up there and get some more points, but give us your thoughts on Cota in um, Austin, Texas. Uh, I think, out of to be honest, out of all the tracks so far, I actually think uh, Austin is probably my favourite. Um, so I think I should do, I'm going to do, because I didn't really do... Uh, a lot of practice for Japan, but I'm definitely going to get practice in for that one because it's a really, really fun track, especially that first sector going through the Zs. It's a bit dodgy on, on lap one, but um, it just throughout the rest of the race is really fun. So I'm definitely going to uh, head down and get some good practice in for that for that track, and hopefully, you know, uh, I can get some some better positions, have a bit of a better look. But you know, we we move. Yeah, definitely. But yeah, thank you very much, guys, um, today. Thank you very much for the bits, of course. Um, but yeah, hopefully next week get some more points and not just the one part of it. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for joining us. Cheers. Thank you. And there we go then. That closes out round 11, the custom livery round of Suzuka in season 5 of Tier 1. So thank you all for joining Seth once again. Thank you for the bits always in there. And we will be here for, on Friday, we have Tier 2 who are racing around Austria. Uh, that is on Friday at 7pm GMT, BST. And we have are here next week for USA, Austin. 
same time as today. So uh, thank you all for watching, and we hope to see you all on Friday next week. Thank you very much. See you later.